I now just like I'm now thinking about just okay. So you know those five second videos that <laughs> were made a while back. That's yeah. like that's like the only thing that I can take enjoyment of from Doug Walker because like his reviews have not aged well. They, his criticisms are garbage, but hit the five second videos are like they're so straight to the point you can't help but laugh. So I've had this, like, funny thought that if I were to do, like, a Magic Sheep review in five seconds, get the fuck back inside me. That's it. That's no, it. It's, no, it's either that I or it's... That. It's either that or it's, like, get the fuck back inside me. Ah! And that's it. Screaming. <laughs> get the fuck back inside me. Get the fuck back inside me. <laughs> Fuck up. Fuck back inside me. <laughs> that is one line that, like, it, there was even a commentator who I forgot what his name was, like Rick Ray or something like that. At the end of the video, he uses my clip, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm not gonna deny that. I should have seen that coming. Yeah, really. You want me to deny it? It ain't gonna happen. Is 2020. <laughs> Like every now, every every now and then, I've had the thought about just like making a quote unquote special edition, like fix up a couple of things that the original editing of the video has, um, and just like I would have to like redo the line to make the tone more serious. But that comes with the question of whether or not people would still find it hilarious to hear it again. Someone's gonna overlay it with a moan. <laughs> get, back, get back inside me. But why? <laughs> no, it's gonna be the. It's gonna be Get like the fuck the back and see anime moans. <laughs> oh, oh my god, hold on. <laughs> Galaxy's off to find it. Sign me. <laughs> no, no, I don't want to hear that again. <laughs> don't ever, don't ever fucking say that again. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Glad I zoned up through that. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. Yeah, really. <laughs> Galaxy, don't die. <sighs> I'll be Damn good. Uh, uh, uh. Also, is it like, oh, it's 8.30. Okay, I had to take a look in the chat for a second. Uh... Oh! Oh my god, that sketch of Robin that Pickles Fuck. made. It's so cute. I'm trying I love to this. finish it. Lionheart is a bitch. I want to boop me. her. I want to boop. I want to boop it so much. He's so, so cute. He's so, so cute. This is the initiation. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boop. Look at the boopable snoot. Bo boop the snoot. The boopable snoot group. Hey, listen. The, the snoot drooped. The snoot drooped. The droop snoot. The snoot must be booped old. The, the snoot would droop. The snoot drooped. <laughs> snoot the snoot old. I'm sorry. Did that bee just steal a noodle? <laughs> <laughs> no, honey. There's some eat the beans. What the fuck? Snoot would droop. No, honey, you cannot my, eat the seeds. My favorite, uh, my favorite freaking try not to laugh thing video that Mark ever watched was Pug Party, and I, I can't. <laughs> one of my favorite videos okay. on the internet I found from one of Markiplier's uh, try not to laugh videos, and it's the I love refrigerators. <laughs> no, that one's <laughs> classic. <laughs> that that video fucking gets like, me every time. <laughs> I just want to make a bunch of images of just random ass videos, but just overlaying with a whole bunch of other OCs. Just like I love, I love refrigerators. I love refrigerators. No, like my favorite one is um, it's the blinding lights meme when someone gets injured, but it's the Amazon delivery guy falling over. It's like a derped version of the song. <laughs> <laughs> And I said, ooh. Or he hits the shit twice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He fucking, he eats shit twice in a row. Yeah. I feel bad for that guy because he literally, he probably got a concussion on that second one. No, or 
A lesser known version of that meme is um, yeah. the deck version, but there's also um, it's the caption was when you inhale and there's a sharp pain in your lungs, and it shows a, a this like you know zoomer black kid in a room, and then he just freezes <laughs> with his eyes wide open. And I said, "Ooh, <laughs> no, it really is like that though, because I get those pains and I know what he's talking about." It hurts. Dang, oh. That's how you know when you're about to die. When you breathe it, when you fucking inhale and it feels like you just fucking uh, sucked a life, sucked a fucking knife into your lungs. Just. Ow. Oh, yes. Pneumothorax. Also, um, Panda. Yes. Pug Party! God is dead and we killed him! God is dead! We killed him! I have no idea what's going on. Neither do oh I. God. No, the fucking someone send the video, video of so Pug God. Party. So like, it's it's funny, but dear God, I, I know that's the point of the video, but dear oh, God, I cannot fucking I cannot fucking stand the sound of that lady's voice. Okay, so like, like I can't up. either. Neither can the Pug. So like, I know, so like the video, I know that's the, the point of it, but just. Ugh. So like Golden, the video basically in the video it consists of a woman just randomly saying pug party and the pug is just it's just screaming. growling and screaming, but people put subtitles as if say as if implying that the dog is talking. And the dog oh, is talking. I think I've seen that before. And yeah, and then later saying, like, it just <laughs> shut up. Please, for the love of God, shut up! God <laughs> is dead! God is dead and we killed him! Okay, oh, okay, God. it's all coming together. Up. Yep. By the way, Panda. Yes. Stay gone. Fucking stop! You need to sit down and watch one of her videos. You will laugh harder than you've ever laughed before. We'll have to look into that. Mm. If you don't know uh, that reference, it's from one of uh, one of her earlier videos, but it's Panda Sprocket. She Tana. has one of the best takedown videos I have ever seen. They're out they're about an hour long each, but they are like some of the best just ripping into somebody takedown videos. Ow! It is fucking glorious. No, I mean like I can already see like <coughs> what kind of personality she like kinda has just in that oh. clip when uh that dude named Cosmos or something like that. Cosmodor. Cosmodor, yeah apparently because he got busted for his shit. So, after, like, she reads it out loud and she's like, Oh, he's admitting and believing the platform. Stay gone. Stay gone. <laughs> <laughs> God, Cosmic Dolan. Not a that soul in sight. I know, soul that just insight. made some people cringe. Yeah. Yeah, Cosmodor. We don't it's talk about him. Bruv. It's it's like that song. Let's not talk about it. Ow. Yee. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> well, no, it's a, it's a jazz song. Uh, it's what inspired the underground theme from uh, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, oh. Yeah, no, because like the bass goes like do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. What the fuck? Who's dying? What's going on? Oh, video. oh, <laughs> okay. Also, not a soul in sight. Not a soul in sight. There seems to be no sign of intelligent life. That video no fucking sign. got me right there. I'm so sorry. You know a video, like, it was a short clip that was shared on, like, a Don't Laugh Challenge. So Solar knows this, and so does Peter. It's um, it's a clip from like Wii Bowling or something like that, and the pins just hop over the ball as it's going down the yeah. alley, and it just or says, the NFL fuck. theme song. <laughs> it just with text it says, "Fuck, fuck you. you," and <laughs> blasting the NFL anthem. Just good. It's just so all... fucking out there. Yeah. <laughs> it's just nope. Fuck you. <laughs> seen that many. I'm thinking about that one, but it's the uh, nice cock one. Nice cock. Have you seen that video? Almost every single day because fucking Wrath always sits there and repeats it. And then Speaker does the same. I gotta see this. Let's, let me see this. 
I mean, what do you expect when your boyfriend and your best friend are literally the same person? <laughs> they are basically no. the same person. <laughs> like literally the same person. They're it's a fuck. They're they're clones. They're fucking like I'm telling you. Yeah, no, they know. They know it. I I'm very much aware. God said copy and paste on two life choices Ow. and put them in two different areas. Didn't expect they were gonna meet. Oops. <laughs> That's great. Damn. Ask them if they fought together in the Clone Wars on Camino. <laughs> They'll say yes. You know what? I want to do that. I want. Pat, what is it? Patrick Stewart and Michael Gambon are the there two, like, legendary friends. I want to ask them that. Just because I know that they would have fun answering that. Probably. Chad, I already found Unless it. Unless I'm a like, fan. Chad, I already found know. the fuck you wee bowling. Demon fire. Like, this is the most powerful fire in the realm. Oh, goody. Fuck you. It's nice cock. The most. You do do do. You do. <laughs> Nice. Oh, 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 fire you can now host the greatest barbecue ever. Okay, okay, I can get it. Play through fire into flames now. Oh god. Nice cock. Perfect. <laughs> I still remember like okay, so a part of it is still true. I still remember back when that song was like relevant at the time, and everybody would say that's one of the hardest songs, if not the hardest song to play. Um, and most of it just because they refer to, um, like, Guitar Hero. Because you also have to play, like, the harpsichord of the guitar. It's like, oh my god, that's ridiculous. And there's a bit like... Have these, it, people ever, have these people ever heard Joe Satriani? He would blow those guys out of the water. Oh, absolutely. No, like, there's that. There's Cliffs of Dover by uh, Eric Johnson, which is a beautiful song. And I heavily recommend, like, Eric Johnson in general. Yeah. No. Okay, I'll give you that it's a beautiful song, but you do have to admit, it's not nearly as fast. They're yeah. Like, okay, so like... the opening track, it's it's two notes. E, uh, D, uh, D flat and C. That's what the outro is. With a bit of G in there. In the key of C and minor. If wanna, and if you want to hear a song that's really fast, play Surfing with the Aliens. <laughs> you know what is apparently a band that one of my... Uh, uh, I had a punk rock, I had a few punk rock friends in high school. One of them, I think his name was Cameron, because I knew a lot of people named Cameron, for whatever reason. Um, so I asked him, like, what would be the most, like, risky thing to play? And in his opinion, based on the genres that he plays, he's like, anything by Trapped, who made the song Headstrong, oh, like, God, why? God. And, and according to him, he said, in order to achieve what they... In order to achieve what they did in guitar, you have to have your guitar strung up so tight, you're at really high risk of breaking your strings. And your fingers. How high did they tune their fucking string? I don't know, but, he said, but apparently high enough that Cameron is just like, I'm not even going to attempt this. I don't want to break my strings, man. How stupid do you have to be to tune your strings high? It's one thing if you tune your strings low for, like, drop D or drop C for, like, metalcore songs, but... The well, other way around. Again, if I remember him right, apparently Trapped mastered it, or they just have the money to replace their strings all the time. Probably a little of both. More yeah. like having the ability to replace their <clears throat> strings more more often than just mastering it. One song is literally just one note. I think it was Bad Religion. Does anyone uh, remember the song um, Into the Night with... Um, the lead singer of Nickelback and car guitarist Carlos Santana. No. That was a thing? That was a thing? I believe Carlos so. Wait, so Santana Chad and Nickelback? Chad Kroger? Santana! That's two words I never thought I'd hear together, man. Then again, there is apparently going to be eventually... What's his fucking name? Ed Sheeran and fucking Cradle of Phil. Which I never thought would ever happen, but here we are. You know, that's as weird as, like, Justin Bieber and Nine Inch Nails. I do not ever want that to fucking happen. Fuck no! Ever. Like, this is too... This is like mixing, like, not even apples and oranges. It's fucking mixing apples with... I, I, I can't even... Nails. Broccoli. Broccoli? <laughs> <laughs> Even Trent Reznor wouldn't be that desperate. I know he has his limit. I know he can pretty much work with anybody, but come on. He wouldn't even go that far. Dude, I, I there was like uh, some dude. I think it was like post something. And there was a collaboration with him and Ozzy. 
I've seen it's Post Malone oh, and Ozzy Malone. Osbourne. Yeah, Post Malone and Ozzy Osbourne did a collaboration. It's fucking weird. I mean, Post Malone's weird. Ozzy's weird. I could see it. Yeah, it, they're two weird motherfuckers <laughs> deciding to be. We're we're gonna be the weirdest motherfuckers of all. It works. I, I mean, guess. if we're talking about like unexpected collaborations, uh, Gorillas and Elton John. Oh fuck, dude! That sounds like that's yeah. a dream come true. It, yeah, yeah no, it works. was actually pretty fucking good. All right, now bad. stop. Well, I mean, it's not like I was expecting it to be bad. It's Gorillas and Elton John. It's just not. A, it's just not a combination I was expecting. 